Welcome back, I'm Paul. A couple of weeks ago on WeChat, I asked you what questions would you like me to ask the admissions department at an American university. Behind me, you see Ohio Wesleyan University, which is actually the university that I have attended for the past couple of years and the university that I continue to attend currently. I was able to set up an interview with one of the members of the admissions department and ask them the questions that you asked me. So, let's get started. One of the main things that an admission department looks for is a well-rounded student. Whether they are domestic, so from America, or foreign, so from somewhere like China, they look for someone who is involved in more than one thing. That is what well-rounded means. So, though academic success is important and it is considered, it is also considered how many other things you are involved in. Universities encourage you to be involved in things like sports or music or after school programs that promote activity and communication around more than just academics. The second thing is that you are a strong writer. Part of the application is for you to write an essay about yourself. This essay is usually about why academics are important to you or how academics have shaped your life. If you write an essay that has a lot of grammatical errors or that has a lot of spelling mistakes, you probably won't be admitted. It is really important to have a strong essay and have strong writing ability. The reason being is that writing is a part of every single subject at an American university. Whether it be math, history, science, or English, you will be writing. And the university needs to know that you are a skilled writer and have a great understanding of the language. So, very important part of being admitted. And also, uh, I was asked the question, is there like a quota or a certain number of students from uh, foreign countries that universities need to or have to admit? And the answer was that there is no quota. Though universities do hope to have a lot of international students attend their universities, just so it becomes a diverse learning environment, there is no certain number that they need to have. So, if three of your friends have applied to the same university and they have all gotten in, don't think that they are taking your spot. Every application is looked at the same for strength in academic success and for outside involvement in areas other than academics. So don't think your, your spots are being taken by others. Everyone is competing in the same way and there is no specific number of foreign students they are looking for. Another question was, how important is the Gao Kao? Though this test is looked at if you have taken it and it is considered if you have done well, it is not mandatory, meaning you don't have to have taken the Gao Kao in order to ad be admitted into an American university. If you have taken it and you've done well, then I would submit your results to the Gaokao and they will look at it and they will be able to you know, gauge your academic success, but it is not mandatory. There are some mandatory tests like the ACT and the SAT. Usually the SAT is what students from outside of a state that a university is in or outside of the country will take and that is probably the most important test you will have to take. Okay, so what about students who are denied? Why are students denied? Well, that's a really good question and another question that I did ask the admissions um, team member. And he said it can be from a variety of reasons. One being that they, you haven't done well in your academic coursework or you haven't challenged yourself. Admissions departments look for a rigorous course load. What this means is that they look to see if you have challenged yourself, if you have taken courses that are above the average difficulty or skill level. If you have taken just average courses and you have done poorly, well then you don't have that great of a chance of getting in. But if you have taken courses that are very difficult and you have done just okay, that can still get you in. If you have done horribly, you know, not good at all, <laughs> well then that might not be great. Um, they want to see how you will succeed at the university. So if you have a record of not doing very well in a challenging academic environment, that might not be a great indication of how you will do at the university. 
they might also deny students who don't have a strong um, desire to be involved in other activities than academics. So if someone has just done okay in coursework and hasn't done anything else, it might not be a very strong application. Your class rank is also taken into consideration. If, if you have, you know, 200 people in your class and you did better than five of them and, you know, the other 194 did better than you, you might not have a great chance of getting in either. But that is to say if you do very well in your class, you have a very good chance of getting in even if you haven't done a lot of other extracurricular activities. So let's say things are good and you've been admitted into an American university. One of your first questions might be, how do I pay for this? It's so expensive. It is. At Ohio Wesleyan, the average um, financial aid or the average uh, money each student is given is $22,000. Uh, that's a lot of money and that's just the average. So that means there are some students who receive a lot more than that. There are some students who receive less, but that all depends on your current financial situation. If you are from a family who doesn't have a lot of money, well then you might be able to receive more money. And maybe you are going into the arts or music. You can also receive scholarships from these departments. So you can receive extra money from the department that you are studying from, which is really nice um, depending on what school you go to. So there is financial aid available even for foreign students. and. Every student has an equal opportunity to receive that financial aid, domestic or foreign. Really important point, so don't stress out too much if you've been admitted to a, an American university and you don't quite have the money, they will always help. All right, another question I was asked is, do you need a major before you start attending the university? Or do you need to decide exactly what you are studying the moment you set foot on campus? And the answer to that is no. Uh, about a third of students don't have a major until their sophomore or junior year. I didn't decide exactly what I was going to do until I think it was maybe halfway through my junior year. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, you should probably decide your freshman year as soon as you get there, but it's not uncommon to decide a little bit later. You can take some different courses, decide what you like, decide what you don't like, and then stick to that course. One of the last questions I was asked is, is an interview required to be admitted into a, an American university? I asked this question to the admissions department here and they said it is not required, though it is strongly recommended. Now this doesn't mean an interview isn't required in other universities, just not here. They, they strongly recommend it because they want to get to know you. They want to know your personality. They want to see if you will fit within this university. I mentioned being at a university is much more than just the academic potential or academic success. Universities want to know how you will fit into the culture of the university. They want to know if you will be involved or if you are excited about being here. That plays a very important role in whether you are admitted or denied. So if you aren't sure, you can always try and set up an interview through something like Skype, just like with what we do with our Cloud English classes. You can do a Skype interview and that way the admissions department can get to know who you are. Once they understand what type of person you are, you have a much better chance of being admitted. So as a review, what do American uni universities look for? Rigorous course schedule. Okay. They look for success on standardized tests like the Gaokao, though it's not, rec or it's not mandatory, but also like the SAT. They look for well-rounded students who are involved in many different things, like sports, music, clubs, different groups that do different things other than just academics. They want people who have more than one interest. They also want you to be a strong writer. It's a really important skill to have and make sure if you are submitting a, an application to an American university, you have a very strong written essay. And the last thing is they would like you to interview because that gives them the chance to get to know you, to get to know what motivates you, what, what you are interested in, and what type of person you are. Okay, you have a great chance of getting in. They don't need to meet a foreign quota. You are competing with everyone. And that can be a little bit scary. But if you have a strong application and you are really excited about being here, well then you have a great chance of being admitted. Thanks a lot for your time. 
I hope to hear from you soon. If you have any questions or if you would like me to ask more questions to the admissions team, I would be more than happy to try and do that for you. Just contact me on WeChat. I'm always happy to talk and answer your questions. Thanks a lot for your time and I'll see you soon.